Bodleian Libraries has been collecting items from across the globe for over 400 years. As a legal deposit library, it is one of the few libraries in the UK and Ireland entitled to claim a copy of every book published in the country. In total, the library holds more than 13 million printed items, as well as manuscripts, archive material, photography, paintings and maps. With a responsibility to look after this ever-growing archive, how can the Bodleian continue to make these important collections available to future generations? The core mission of the library has always been about two things. It's been about preserving knowledge and it's been about sharing it. Fundamental to being able to do that in the future is going to be how we are able to embrace technology in a world that's used to having information at the click of a button. Bodleian Libraries has been using technology to digitise and store content for almost 30 years. But in 2015, many of these items were made available with the launch of the library's flagship online platform, Digital Bodleian. Digital Bodleian was hugely important because, for the first time, we were able to bring together a whole variety of digitised collections that had been built up over the years into a single place where the user could search across all of those resources. There are currently over 900,000 images available to view on Digital Bodleian. Every second, a user from somewhere in the world interacts with the Bodleian's electronic collections. The library has an ambitious target to digitise many more of its items, totalling one million images, a target that is likely to be hit sometime next year. But the team at Digital Bodleian has even bigger ambitions. Ultimately, our aim is to digitise our entire collection. We have no idea, actually, how many images we'll need to create to do that. Our collections are so vast. It may take 10 years, it may take 20 years, it may even take longer. But whatever the length of time, we're determined to be able to share our incredible inheritance with the whole world. Working alongside the digital teams at the Bodleian is the Conservation Department. A team of world-leading conservators are responsible for one of the largest conservation departments in the UK. Each item has to be examined and handled with the utmost care by the trained and experienced staff. The Bodleian holds a vast range of items coming from around the globe and also from very different periods in time. Sometimes our work in terms of treatment can be very simple and we are dealing with a very small repair. Or we could also do the conservation of complex problems and these treatments can take up to three, four, five years. Each object can be a new challenge and a new discovery for us. The team also have another important role within the wider world of conservation. The Bodleian Conservation team also produces groundbreaking research into the materials and techniques used to produce our collections and we are able to do that because we are in the unique context of Oxford University. Once items are processed and digitised, they are sent off for storage. Many of the special collections stay at the Western Library, whilst over 10 million lower usage items are sent to the Bodleian state-of-the-art book storage facility in Swindon. And we're very lucky at the Bodleian to have pretty much the best storage facilities that you could wish to have as an archivist. We have properly humidity control spaces, secure spaces. They're an archivist dream come true, really. Bodleian libraries are also drawing up plans to expand the Swindon facility and build a brand new chamber. The environmentally controlled High Bay Warehouse will extend the size of the building by almost 3,000 square metres and allow the Bodleian to partner with museums and store additional materials. In this new chamber, we're going to be storing ethnographic items like spears, canoes, parts of stone sculptures. Our expertise and our facilities are going to be made available to other cultural institutions to make it more efficient and more sustainable to store and preserve and make available the world's knowledge. The Bodleian is involved in another new building project in the heart of Oxford. Rubin College is the first new college to be built at the university in 30 years. Incorporating the Bodleian's Radcliffe Science Library, the £80 million refurbishment project, opening in 2021, 
will transform the site into a global centre for scientific research. Rubin College is going to be focused on graduate students and it's going to enable our library facility to directly support a, a fundamentally important community dedicated to advancing knowledge in the sciences and the medical sciences. Bodleian Libraries will also have a new home at the brand new Schwarzman Centre building. The £150 million project will create a new hub for Oxford's humanities with state-of-the-art academic, exhibition and performance spaces. At the heart of that exciting, groundbreaking new facility will be a new humanities library. And that library will serve this fantastic community, the world's leading humanities scholars, and they'll be discovering new ways of working together, but they'll also be working with the public in the new cultural spaces powered by the library. The Schwarzman Centre will also house scholars who will be working with the Bodleian on one of the library's key goals for the future, the preservation of digital data. We're in an extraordinary moment in society. Knowledge is changing in the way that it is created and shared. All of this happens online, through email, through text messaging, through the web, through blogs. And great libraries, if they continue to be true to their mission on behalf of society, must capture this information. This pioneering work has already been started by the Bodleian's web archiving team. Over the years, the web archiving team have worked on a number of different special collections. And some of those things are ongoing topics like gender equality, um, online enthusiast communities in the UK. We've also done a lot of web archiving that reacts to specific events going on here and now. Um, those have included the Ebola outbreak, the death of Nelson Mandela, and the COVID-19 outbreak. One important thing to remember about websites is that they change very rapidly, disappear from the web, and if we don't harvest them, that information is going to be lost. The team will soon be expanding their work in data archiving to include social media. Archiving social media is very important for understanding public life at the moment. It captures our aspirations, our dreams, the things we want to change, and that data will be very valuable to historians of the future. But capturing the world's social media use is not a simple job. One of the challenges for modern social research is that so much information is captured on multiple devices through different social media platforms. Getting it into one place and in a way that protects privacy but still presents researchers with evidence to play with is a major important challenge for the library in the years ahead. One of the immediate concerns for the Bodleian teams working on digital preservation is how to store social media and other forms of digital communication. One of our big aspirations is to build the data science library of the future. Sociologists, historians, social science researchers of all kinds will need access to the data about public life in order to interpret trends and come up with good policy solutions to the problems we face. One of the problems that we face right now is the COVID-19 global pandemic. Bodleian Libraries has been actively engaged in the UK's fight against the virus by supporting vital research into vaccines, treatment and prevention, which is being carried out at the University of Oxford. Our healthcare library specialists have been creating data sets, they've been reviewing research materials, they've been co-authoring papers in order to support our provision of solutions to the incredible health challenges of COVID-19. The Bodleian's response to the pandemic is an example of how important the library is in shaping the world for future generations. In 30 years' time, in 2050, who knows what the world will be like? Who knows even what the university will be like? But with such a long, enduring history as we have, we can be sure that the library will be at the heart of the university's mission. We will become an even more digital institution by them. We will be preserving knowledge for the sake of learning and research and for the whole world. <laughs>